Well, Coach said that uh, the film session showed some things about defensive gaps, ball screens. What did you learn? Um, we really just need to get back to our principles. Uh, we're sitting under our guys a little bit too much, uh, but we'll get that solved. Uh, here in practice, we did it yesterday. Uh, feel good about it. Just got to do it again today and then tomorrow. How much did Kofi's absence impact your defense, if at all? Uh, well, I mean, he sits under there and, and uh, cleans up um, mistakes or, uh, you know, good players getting by. Um, but still just got to find a way um, to get stops at the end of the day. Okay, you maybe didn't see it go in as much coming out of the cover break immediately, but you've seen it go in a lot. How important has the ability to get back in practice in the team been for you? Um, you know, it's been important. Basketball is a, a big game on uh, rhythm and reps and uh, confidence. Um, but I feel good. I think everyone feels good. Everybody's ready to go. What did you guys learn about yourself against Maryland? Should Kofi not be able to go tomorrow in terms of how to handle that seven-foot potential absence? Um, the whole team has to help each other with guarding the ball. Um, I don't think that that represents who we are or, or where we're going. Um, but like I said, you know, it's not – we don't want to play one-on-one -on -one defense. You know, there should be uh, three, four guys involved with whoever has the ball. Coach made a point of saying just because one guy's out doesn't mean things are going to change. We're going to still play the same way. Just exactly. do it harder. And is that kind of how you see it? Just have to do what you do well. Yeah. Um, I said before, um, basketball is like a game of chess. Um, you lose one piece. Uh, you just gotta you gotta find a way. Um, it's still the game of chess, or for instance, the game of basketball. Um, just just gotta find a way, and, and it's a good life lesson too. Jack, I know to some degree every game is about finding a way. You guys have had to kind of find a way shorthanded almost all year. Does it get I don't want to say exhausting, but just kind of I don't even know the word. Like I guess what's it like dealing with that? Um, I mean it just is what it is. Uh, can only control what you can control. Um, just a lot of forward thinking and just you know doing your part, doing your job um, is what it comes down to. Can you describe maybe how frustrating if at all it has been you guys have been fully on the first or in a game yet this season or a game Um I don't get frustrated, you know that's like I said, that's just not something that we can control. Um, the thing we can control is going out there, playing hard. Uh, playing defense, playing connected, playing for each other for 40 minutes. Back to your shot. Um, you really love the corner three. Is there something special about that spot for you? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm ready to shoot when I'm there. Uh, I don't think too much about it. I, if I'm if I'm open or got a good shot and I like it, I'll take it. And I'm glad it goes in most of the time. The coach told us about Trent's injury last week and how it affected the defense of Maryland. Uh, could you see him struggling through the game? Um, I wouldn't say I noticed it during the game. Uh, you got a lot of adrenaline and, and whatnot going. Um, but uh, I don't think it'll be an issue. He looked good yesterday in practice. So Michigan State was the only loss down the stretch for you guys last year until the tournament. What, what makes them such a challenge, especially tomorrow? Um, well, they play hard um, and, you know, they kind of pride themselves on being the toughest team, uh, the scrappiest team in the league. Uh, and the last couple of years, um, from what I've heard, it feels like we've kind of taken over that um, uh, that identity or that role. And so they, they kind of um, take some pride in that uh, a little bit. but. Uh, two teams play hard. Uh, tomorrow will be a good day. Io left that game with an injury last year. It, uh, stick in your brains when you come into this game? Um, yes. I mean, you know, they have four centers last year. I'm pretty sure Coach said three of them fouled out. So it's just one of those. Um, this is one of those kind of games. You got to bring your your big boy pants and be ready to to bang and and run and make shots and defend. Um, I mean, of course, in some way, you know, we lost and uh, we felt like we could have played a lot better. So um, that's different in a win. Uh, 
but overall I'd say the same message um, carries. You know, we're on to the next. Uh, that game's over with. We're on Michigan State now. Thanks, Jake.